In other videos, we took a look at simplified representations to improve the performance of very big assemblies. And if you think an assembly is slow, just wait until you take that assembly and put it into a drawing. Large drawings can really slow up your computer. And when we talk about large drawings, we mean any drawing that has large complicated models, multiple models, lots of sheets, lots of details, basically any drawing that takes longer to work on than you prefer. And so where you can get some benefit is by applying simplified reps to your different drawing views. For example, I can pick a view and then right mouse click and hold and choose properties. And in the drawing view properties dialog box, then you select the view states category and there's a drop down list that allows you to change from the master rep to one of the predefined reps like the geometry rep or the light graphics rep or a custom rep. In this case over here, I'm going to use the geometry rep and it's prompting me that there are some other views that are related to this one and asks me if I want to update them as well. I'm going to say yes and then click OK and it's going to start applying those reps and even in a large drawing like this it's just going to take a while to use the simpler representation and remember whenever you are changing between the different reps after you apply the simpler reps to your different views don't forget to click file erase not displayed in order to see better computer performance now even this is going to take a while so what i'm going to do is fade out in a second and then when we come back I'll show you another tool that you can use in order to speed up your work with large drawings. So fade out, fade in. Okay I'm back. It took a while to apply the geometry rep to those different views. What you would want to do again is apply the simplified representations to all the different drawing views that you can. and. Now I'm going to show you another tool for improving performance. And again, I've got this drawing over here. It's got multiple sheets and on the different sheets, it's got different drawing views on it. And so again, it can end up being just very, very slow. And so there is sort of a form of simplified representations for drawings and they are called appropriately enough drawing representations. The way that you can create drawing representations is from the tools menu and there's a utilities overflow menu and then you can choose drawing representation and this command will trigger the menu manager. You'll click the create button in order to create a simplified or excuse me, a drawing representation. You can give it whatever name that you want. And there are two different tabs on here. The first is the view display tab. And what you're doing here is you're controlling what's going to be displayed in your drawing. And by default, everything is displayed. Right now, the erase button is selected. And what I can do is use the different categories. So for example, I could pick individual views not to display. So for example, I can pick this view over here. Maybe I'm not going to be working on this view or this view. And by not having to repaint those views, it'll be faster. And let me click OK to select those different ones and then click the Add button. So shows the three different views that are going to be erased. In addition, I can erase entire sheets, not bring in, say, sheets three to four so that my performance again will be better. And in addition to sheets, you could specify certain types of views that you don't want to bring in. So for example, if you check this, maybe if you had any auxiliary views or views with cross sections, you could have those not displayed as well. And also certain models. So for example, from the drop down list over here, maybe I say that, you know, this particular assembly, I don't want that to be brought in. So it'll erase any views with that drawing on it. And when you are in the tool, you can flip between the different sheets in order to uh, configure the display that you want. And the next thing that I'm going to do is go to the drawing display tab, and then you can control when you apply the rep, what sheet it goes to, 
and either certain zoom, uh, basically a saved view or a center of a particular view. And so I can say, hey, whenever I apply this one, I'm going to be working on sheet number two and I want you to go to the center of a view and I'll pick this view over here. The next thing that you can control is how your tables behave. And so by default, whenever you regenerate, it's going to update any tables uh, that contain repeat regions, uh, what are known as smart tables. So for example, bills of material, or if you're doing cable harness drawings, maybe you have cable harness run tables, etc. And so for the tables, you could say, hey, let's have them be frozen. In other words, let's not have those tables update every time that we are regenerating or updating the different sheets. And so after I set up my drawing representation, I will click OK. And then you could execute your drawing rep that you've created, but I've already executed by creating it. I'm going to click Done Return and let's save this drawing. Then what I'm going to show you is how you would access it. So let's close everything. And really what I should do is erase not displayed and click OK. This will still take a long time because the world car is a huge model. But the way that you use drawing reps later on is then when you go to open something up, I'm going to use my drop down list to filter down to drawings. Here's the drawing that I was just working on. Rather than just clicking open, which would bring up essentially the mass representation of the drawing, you can choose open representation. And here is that drawing rep that I just created. You could also create a new drawing rep on the fly, but again, that can sometimes take a while uh, because again, you have to define the information that you want. But I'll just go ahead and click OK and it'll start retrieving just the information that I want. Again, this is going to take a while. So I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are added. Wow, that actually took a little faster than I uh, expected. I didn't expect it to finish by the time I ended my standard spiel. But again, here you see that we are on sheet two. It went to the center of the view that I specified and everything on the other sheets is erased that I set it to, uh, to erase. Pulling up sheet one will take a while. Thank you very much.